Hey, good morning, everybody. Good, good morning, Donna. Morning. It is not Monday morning. It is Tuesday morning because yes. it is Labor Day yesterday. And we had a holiday. No, yes. we did No, we worked. <laughs> but shipping is today, so we are going to pull orders. We're going to do a drawing today in this video, if you stick around for that. We are going to talk about the reselling community. And is it toxic? We're going to talk about that. Hmm. Um, I think if you know us well enough, you know what we think about that. But we're going to kind of tell a couple stories and kind of talk about that a little bit. So, but before we do all that, we're going to get started pulling orders. So, Got some fun ones today. Yes, we do. We do. We're hoping for Alaska. We don't have it yet, but we're working on it. Yes. So, First we'll of all, who, we, who are we? Oh, I'm I'm Steve. I'm Donna. <laughs> we are Happy Art Treasures. <laughs> we are full-time resellers in Lincoln, Nebraska. We homers of stuff. And this is what we do. It's our full-time job. We don't do anything else except for, oh, except for everything related to reselling and things like that. Speaking of which... Um, Guess what we have coming up this weekend. Yeah, we got a phone or a message phone call yesterday morning, and we went and took a look at a place... And we are doing a clean out this weekend. We haven't done a clean out for a while. It might lead to a garage sale. It's going to be an after estate sale clean out. Uh, so we're not sure how much it's going to be, but we uh, agreed to do the job, agreed on the price, and we're going to be doing that. Yep. And for those of you that think we wait, we work way too hard, we do work hard, but we do have a vacation scheduled in the near future. Yay! And not. <laughs> <laughs> and we're not only on going on vacation, but we're not even driving, so we're not taking the van, so we can't fly. even go thrifting. We have to lay down our work for a little a while and just enjoy it. Yeah. We have no choice but to enjoy it. Yes. So we'll talk about that on another video some other time, but for now, let's, let's get, get to pulling serious. orders so we can get to the other things. All right, we have a lot of different types of things today. We have some very cheap things. We have a couple, a few expensive things. We have a lot of in-betweens. A lot of breakables, because Donna likes selling breakables. And I love shipping breakables. So, <laughs> are you ready? Yes. All right, let's go to box DD. I don't even know where to go anymore. Goodness sake. All right, in box DD, Donna found what we're looking for. These have been on a long time. These came from Humboldt, which was a long, long time ago. They look better on black. There you go. Oh, they look much better on black. Uh, so those are Bud Vases. They are Anchor Hawking Vintage. And they are $10. And they are going to Texas right there. Those came from an estate clean out. I think it was clean out or buy out that we did like, oh my goodness, two and a half years ago maybe? It was our first buy out. It was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. So anyway, off to Texas they go. All right, this pair of jeans is next. It was in the very first box on the rack. So this is one of the first things that we had listed for clothing items. It's a pair of Polo Jean Company, Polo Jeans. And what happens when it's in the very first box, it gets to go pretty cheap. And these went for $10.19. And they're going to, where are they going to? Alaska. They're not going to Alaska. They're going to Michigan, so... There they go. Why well, you got your Bronco shirt on, Steve, huh? Because the NFL kicks off this week. Woot woot. <laughs> go Broncos. They have not lost a game yet. Um, we will be working Sunday. First Sunday of the NFL season. I was a little disappointed. I told him we could take a out. break and watch the game. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm sure I will be working and I'll just catch the highlights later. But anyway, go Broncos, go NFL, go football. I love football. All right, next up we have something I already pulled because I saw it the other day on top of a box. And this is a, this came from the Turtle buyout, believe it or not. It is a Ruger LCR uh, handgun soft bag is what that is. And it comes with a gun lock that's in there. And that was at the Turtle buyout. That sold for $14 plus shipping and where is that going? Do you think that's going to Alaska? Alaska. That is going to Tennessee. Oh, Tennessee. Man. I'm going to bring it into fruition by hoping. Okay. You hope. Hope as hard as you can. We do have about 22 things. Oh, that reminds me. We have a Bonanza order. We better grab that so I don't forget it. Right here, Adele 25. Plus, it's a Target exclusive with three bonus tracks. That sold for $14.50. And that is going to New York through Bonanza. So... Cool. Another Bonanza sale. It's been a little while since we had one of those. All right, the next item we either got at an estate sale 
or at the bins. I'm not sure which one, but it is a pipe and it's in box 92. All right, this is, says Graybo Duke One I wrote on it. Graybo Duke One right there. All right, after fighting with the bag for five minutes, there it is. That's a Dr. Graybo Duke pipe right there. And that sold for $9. Um, Where'd it come from? Doesn't say. Uh, I think this was, we'd bought a, like a state, at a state sale, we bought a whole lot of pipes, like everything they had. I think it was from there. $9 going to Iowa right here. Hmm. And we got some little items here in the beginning, but it does get better. Don't you worry. In box 55, we're gonna grab some breakables now. Yay, breakables. Here's box 55, which is this big, brown box and Whoa. I don't really understand how that happened but but it did so we're looking for number 879 it's very full right here and there's four glass mugs I'll get one out for you all right here is one of the frosted glasses right there that looks nice on the black too that sold for a set of four of those sold for $14.95 and it's going oh it's going international let's see where it's headed it's going to Canada. We have Canada on the board. Somebody said something about doing the Providences in Canada. Oh, yeah. Canada. Uh, I think we've going? sold enough Canada things that be kind of tough. British Columbia. Okay, cool. That is going to British Columbia, Canada. And that was from uh, somebody had a bunch of stuff in storage and they just donated to us. They're like, hey, if you want any of this, come get it. So we did, and they've been on a long time. But anyway, there that goes. Box 73, our other big brown box. And in here, oh, I love these. we have two things left. Well, there's a keyboard down here too. But in here, we're gonna do a welcome to my porch. Oh, geez. I think they're both the same, aren't they? Help me. Here, let's take one out. They're both the same. So that leaves one left. We got these from our friends. Welcome to my porch. Sold for $6.79 right there, and that is going to Kansas. They go on the Sassafras switch mat. All right, let's do one more thing, and then we're going to chat. And then I'll make Donna pull order. She's like making me work today. Yes, sir. Box 68 from the fire buy. That's not a fire buy. <laughs> it is a fire buy. It's a fire man buy, it's a fire house buy, it's a fire station buy. All of the above have one thing in common, fire. So it's a fire yeah, buy. But when you say fire buy, it makes it sound like, you know, we had to buy from a house that was burned up. Well, that's making assumptions. You know what some assuming does, don't you? Anyway. <laughs> right here. Here we go, it's a toy. It's a Rescue Heroes voice tech, and this come from the Firehouse Fireman Fire Station buyout, and that sold for $19, and it's going to Pennsylvania right there. All right, we're gonna talk now about the toxicity of reselling community. What do you think, Donna? I think you're crazy. She thinks I'm crazy. I'm not crazy. When we first got into reselling and we went out and about felt like there was a need to hurry fast and get it before the next reseller and there was competition and stuff like that yeah and then we got invited to some things with resellers actually before that though we met a reseller here in town he reached out to us and wanted to know if we wanted to go for coffee and that was like weird yeah we did have one interaction with a reseller and, and we sat and had coffee well i didn't drink coffee he didn't drink coffee because he doesn't know what's good for him. But anyway, it True. was really nice. And he took us to his um, work area or um, office space yep. and showed us his process and everything. And we learned a lot from him. And so that was really cool. We did. And then we like, we never talked to him again, uh, whatever. But then we just go on about our business. And then right before... So when I talk about toxic, if you were involved in anything at all it doesn't matter group what group if you get a, more even. more than one person involved in something once you get so many you're gonna find somebody toxic and they're gonna like to stir the pot and they're gonna cause issues and it can happen anywhere it can happen anywhere from anything what do you mean by toxic what i mean by toxic is people that 
want to cause drama. People that oh. want to talk about other people. People that want to do this with that. Uh oh, it's story time, yo. I have a story for you that I never thought that like we'd talk about on camera, but I'm just going to talk about it, but I'm going to leave it very vague. Um, before we met any other reseller, except for the one person we had coffee with, that, yeah. that we'll take that one out. Before we met anybody else reselling, even before we met Alicia, who's in our neighborhood, we got, we were sitting here one day, you know, we've done YouTube for quite a while and we got a message one day and an email and it was a scathing, nasty email accusing us of talking trash about somebody and accusing us of like, uh, being better than them or whatever, blah, 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 and accusing us of several things. And we were both, we got the message because we both get the email on our phones at the same time. And we were like looking at each other like, what's going on? We didn't even know who it was at first. Well, then we figured out who it was and it was a reseller that's on YouTube and they sent us this nasty, nasty message. Remember, this is before we knew anybody else. And so the first interaction we had, I said, what we said, this has to be a mistake. There's they, Obviously, they have us confused for somebody else. No big deal. And the mistakes happen. So I sent them a nice email back. And I said, I'm sorry that, you know, all this is going on. But this must be a mistake because we really don't even talk to other people. Like, we just do our own thing. I expected a message back saying, you know what, my bad. I'm sorry about that. And I would have been like, totally cool, whatever. And then we waited a couple days, and after a couple days, still not hearing anything, I sent another message, and I'm like, look, I just want to reach out and make sure you understand that, like, we didn't do any of those things that you're saying we did. Like, we really don't get involved in any kind of stuff like that, whatever. And still nothing. And to that point, so what did we do about it? We could have went on YouTube, and we could have read the letter and been like, this person said this, blah, 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 but we don't, we don't, we won't. We refuse to do that. And so basically we quit watching that person's channel and that was the end of it. Like yeah. that was the end of it. I don't, it's not it was, right after that. It was at the exact same moment. Then we met other resellers then mm -hmm. and people that we consider our, you know, good friends now in the reselling community. You know, we were just with a lot of them last weekend. That was about the same time that um, somebody picked up on the porch for a dollar auction. And I had my little QR code out there to watch our channel. And she messaged us and she's like, there's, you know, what, what is your channel, blah, blah, blah. And that's when we became friends with Inked Picker. Yeah. And then almost at the same time, um, she was friends with Grams and Pops and we became like, they found our channel somehow. I don't know. And, and so through that, they invited us to go to this to place to, to profit. profit. And we were like, yeah, that sounds fun. Oh, that sounds scary. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Okay, so remember, like, we don't talk to people. We don't we don't know any other resellers. And if you watch YouTube and you jump around, like, over the years, because we've been doing this long enough, yeah. we've watched for years, there are resellers on YouTube that gain followers by creating drama and talking trash. And I've, I've seen in on shows, episodes, and I've seen on podcasts them talk, crap about other not people a whole lot. not a whole lot but it does Sometimes, happen yeah there's drama about this or about that and, and and we just we don't we never want to be like involved in that we're never going to talk crap about another reseller no matter how mad somebody may make us if something stupid were to happen i'm not going to take it to youtube i just i refuse we're not going to be like that so when we got invited to this reseller event um we reluctantly said yes I reluctantly said yes. Donna was like, woohoo. She's just checking the lighting out. <laughs> um, but we did. And on the way there, I we I'm had the conversation. I'm a little bit more of a people person than you are. Yeah. Um, usually. Yeah. But so on the way there, like, I was like, if, we, if you want to go home, we can go home. But we're like, no, let's press on. And so we went. And it was absolutely a blast. Now, one thing I learned there, I thought resellers other resellers knowing them that's competition and so one day you we went on a party bus with 40 other resellers the, to three as different part of the as part of this event which a three different like thrift stores two thrift stores and the goodwill bins 
And I was dreading that. I was like, this is going to suck because I'm like out here. I want to find too stuff. Much competition. And it's competition. But you know what? It was so much fun because it's not like I was out here trying to put food on my table. We were there for an event and we just had fun. And almost everybody found something. We've resold stuff and from there. And you know what's cool about it is not everybody looks for the same thing. And so if one person knows that you like to deal with you know glass or you like to deal with sports and you like to deal with shoes or whatever people were like hey look at this do you want this you know yeah, yeah. and it was so so cool because there was so much um camaraderie and support and um yeah that's the first time we really learned like oh this could be kind of fun yeah. like having relationships with other resellers and stuff like that so to, to answer the question of is reselling community toxic, it can be if you let it, if you give into that. And I'm not saying you have to any, be the one that's being toxic, but if you any like community, any community or relationship yes, can be toxic absolutely. depending on how you do it. But surround yourself with like minded people who want only for yours success and people that support you yeah. so many people want to cheer you on want to support you yay 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 until you reach a level of success that they're not reaching and then they want and they will just build you up to tear you down i mean it's it's common in like you know with celebrities and stuff too and yeah. we're not celebrities i'm not saying that but <laughs> <laughs> but it, but that's the case. Like people want to see you succeed. Yay, rah, go, go, go. And then when you do well, people just want to tear you down. Like it, it's it's the society in general. But anyway, it can be toxic. But just to, just distance yourself from that. There are channels that build their entire channel of resellers. There's a, a few, a couple that I can name, but I'm not going to. I will never go on YouTube and bash another channel. Never, because I don't want that smoke. I don't want that drama. That's not what I'm about. But there are channels, a couple of them, that have built their entire channel off of drama because it gets clicks. If we say something dramatic, you know, people are talk about whatever, it gets clicks. People watch that stuff. So, But then, on the other side of the coin, there are channels that are growing because of their support of others. So, for instance, people shouted us out and their channel, you know, is growing too. There's people, there's so many kind people in reselling. All you have to do is look. Yeah, the majority. You know, there's the support that comes from, you know, people. Even the fact that they're showing you how to do your business and how to do it better, giving you suggestions and, and things like that, how to do it better, when people could just keep all those tricks of the trade to themselves and they don't they share them the reselling community is literally like society in general and facebook and whatever else there is a majority the vast majority i would say the silent majority because you don't hear about it because you hear the you hear the yelling over everything else the majority of them are awesome and helpful and supportive and all the above and that's that's fantastic so if you find yourself amidst a bunch of negative stuff and around negative people and watching negative channels just find find another channel so anyway i don't know if that is what you were hoping to hear from us i don't know if that was like explaining but we are going to talk about in just a little bit our actual meetup with other resellers how that went and we're also going to do a drawing in a little bit yeah. let's get back to pulling orders and just stay positive stay above the noise and look for the positive things in life or something. Anything to add on that? Don't be a poo pooer. <laughs> well, you got to be a poo pooer sometime <laughs> if your wife thinks that you can do absolutely anything. We can. We can. I know what you can do, Donna. What? You can pull the next order and it is in that record drawer where the CDs were. See that colorful thing underneath them CDs down there? The, this one? Nope, the rainbow looking thing back there. Sunshine looking. What's this? Just the little one on top. What is it? That is a 45 record, and it is sing-along with Puffin Stuff. A HR Puffin Stuff. Oh, this was a TV show. Yeah. Uh, that opens up there. I'm trying. There you go. Sid and Marty Croft, H K HR Puffin Stuff. Anyway, this sold for $25. Oh, my goodness. And it is going to Connecticut, and that came from Iowa. Wow. That's really cool. That's a cool sale. Next thing is inbox LI. 
All right, there's box LI, and in there there's a light bulb. It's a battery backup LED light bulb. But there's so many more fun things in here than just a light bulb. <laughs> Look at yeah, this guy. Is. That's cool. Is he not cool? Uh, yeah, there is, oh but it's the goodness. light bulb that sold, and it sold for ten ninety nine, and it's going to Puerto Rico. Oh, cool. Right there. Next item is in box LT. And you're looking for a flower. A 1985 Home Co. Masterpiece. Large white oh. um, magnolia flower. Yes. Oh, she's, Let's get that out. She's beautiful. Look at her. Put it on the black table too. It'll look nicer. Look at that. Beautiful magnolia Home Co. flower. Masterpiece Bone China says right there. Isn't that cool? I sold for $24, and that is going to Tennessee. R5 is next, and in there, there is some fishing line. Oh, some more of that fishing line. Yep, some more fishing line right there. $14.99 right there. That came from Iowa. Then it's going to Montana. All right, one of the coolest finds, coolest sales of the day. There is way out one Yadro piece <sighs> left, and it is on the shelf in there. She still has her box. Yeah, we have the box, and it's a lady. We might have to put a picture up because I'm not gonna like put her together. Yeah, no, she's t she's packaged already. Yeah, she. Okay, here's a, here's a picture of her. She is a uh, with a lady with a parasol, and it's very cool. And that sold for a hundred thirty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Oh, here's a picture. Look oh, here. Yeah, well, there's a picture too, but uh, hundred thirty nine ninety nine. That is going to Connecticut. Uh, next up in box 26. 26. You know what? What? These boxes are light. They need to be filled up. Yes, I absolutely really agree. You're looking for a bird. A bird. Blue bird. Don't want it to fly away. Blue bird, you bet. There you go. Okay. Got a nice yeah. blue bird planter. That sold for $19.50 and it's flying away to California. He's pretty. Yep. All right, next up, some really exciting one in box 51. 51 is very exciting. Gonna have to try to contain your excitement on this one. What is it? Bring it on over here. What is it? Come on. That orange thing right there. <laughs> wah, wah, it's, a, wah. it's a Monster High candle. What is that? A candle Candelabra. Thing? Candelabra. Yeah, that sold for $7.64. And it is going to Montana right there. That came as part of a Monster High buyout. <laughs> Does it not surprise you the the gamut, the the spectrum of things that sell? I mean, this little plastic thing, all the way up to you know a beautiful breakable piece of to something functional like the light and the fishing line. I mean, doesn't it surprise you what all sells? Everything sells. Yeah. eventually except to alaska yeah all right next up we got a dvd it's in the dvd drawer this comes from iowa and it's dean martin this one right there dean martin celebrity roast twelve dollars 87 cents and that's going to texas all right the next one donna's gonna absolutely love and i'm not joking this time because it's something she just listed a couple days ago and it was a great sale and it's in box r16 what is it wait till you see it Oh my goodness. We had to go up to the garage to get it, but it's a set of glasses and they are really, really cool and Donna just listed them. I had to really search to find what these were actually called. These came from the turtle buy, by the way. They were back in a closet. Look at that. Why don't you get, we weren't gonna get them all out, but let's get a couple out because they're different colors. Yes. All right, Donna, tell us about these lovelies. These are Fred Press, I believe. And... Look at all the different colors. They're Blue old. Blue and pink and green and... Can you see it right there? Is it signed right there? It is. It is right there. Can you see it? I don't know if I can see it or not, but it's a cool set of glasses, five rare glasses. And that came from Genoa, or the turtle buyout, and it sold for $90. Oh, guys. Like the next day, and it's going I to Michigan. I was shocked when I pulled them out, but they're so pretty. And they're um, gold, what do you call it, edged? I don't even know. 
Yeah, oh, they're beautiful. So, $90 out there going to Michigan. Awesome. All right, the next thing is in this box right here. LK, I had golf clubs on it. And it is, Don, you can talk about this bag right careful, here. Careful. Watch out for the flower. Look at this box, guys. <gasps> oh. We need stuff in that box, don't we? Yes, we do. This is a Bagolini bag, and it's sold for fifteen twenty-nine. Where did it come from? Um, the apartment that we helped clean out for with our friends. Oh yeah, and it's going to Omaha. 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 Right down the road. Let's move this flower. Because next up, we'll do one more and then we're going to talk about this last weekend and we're going to do a drawing. Uh, we're going to do this McCoy turtle. Oh, another turtle from the turtle buy. Look at this. Look at this in our turtles. Get out of here, turtle. Go fly away, turtle. Turtles don't fly. They swim. Right there. Oh, he's the happy one. Look at his face. Look at how happy that turtle is. Happiest turtle I ever did see. He's a McCoy. Yes, he is. He sold for twenty dollars, and he's going to North Dakota, North right Dakota. there. So cool beans, huh? Cool turtles. Cool turtles. Cool <laughs> bean turtles. Turtle beans. I don't know. Hmm. All right, let's talk about reseller community. Let's talk about a reseller meetup that we did with people, actual oh, people. Oh, if you guys are watching, hi! It was so good to meet you all. Oh, let's read their name. What? Hold, just hold on. Whoa, whoa, your horses. Okay, so speaking of resellers and toxicity, I'm going to tell you where there was no toxicity. <laughs> None at all. You guys, it was the coolest thing ever. We had a meetup um, last Friday with everybody that, you know, our friends that came. We walk into Pizza Ranch and in line, there was somebody and they were looking at us and they were smiling and we we're like, do we know you? They did know us because they watched the channel. Yeah, they were right in front of us in line. They and actually were uh, Grams and Pops watchers. Yep. It was Mike and Mandy. Because he said it was like Mork and Mindy, but it was Mike and Mandy. She had the coolest accent. Yeah, she oh was my goodness. the flipping Brit. Um, so anyway, we went there. And on the way there, I'm not even kidding, I had a couple of people that uh, wanted to go and... They didn't get to because of didn't work. Didn't get to because of things. a couple of things. And so we were all there, and we didn't know for sure who was coming. We knew yeah. a couple of people were coming. We didn't know if anyone would come. But we sat come. on the way there. We're like, well, there might only literally be like just, just us, us <laughs> but we're going to have a good dinner. But it ended up we had like 20 people there. Yeah. It was awesome. Uh, and there was quite a few people. There was fun because uh, we were there, Grams and Pops was there, and Alicia, the ink picker, was and there Connor. with her husband. There were people there that watched all three different channels. It wasn't just like, oh, it's all people to watch us or all people to watch Grands and Pops or Alicia. It was a nice spread of everybody. So mm -hmm. um, the one thing we talked about, so we made everybody introduce themselves and we made everybody tell like we what they do. We didn't make them. We, we asked them to. <laughs> I made them. I said, okay, talk people. <laughs> yeah. um, but we all, we, we made, we went around the room and everybody kind of told like, how they fit into this, what they do for reselling, how long they've been reselling, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. If they have an eBay store or a YouTube channel or whatever. And so we did all that. All right, Donna would like to personally thank everybody that was there. So <laughs> yes. here she goes. Okay, there was Mandy and Mike the, with the flippin' Brit. There was LaDonna and her daughter, Skylar, and her granddaughter. And her husband. And her husband um, from Bayou Belle Vintiques and Sky Sky Collections. Her daughter, Skylar, just started two months ago. There was Cheryl and... Cheryl the si Shiny Squirrel. Yes. That's it. And her husband was there. And her husband was there. Yep. There was Angie and Ed, and they are Power Biker 1972. That's their store. They're local here in town. Joy and Ryan, they're the Midwest Mama Resells. And there was your brother Greg was there. He's not a reseller yet. He's just a fan. And Corey and Teresa, of course, and Alicia and Connor. Yes. So um, that's Grands and Pops and Ink Picker, and then of course us. But we had so much fun. All right. So one of the things that we talked about, uh, one of the persons talked, and they said they were kind of shy at first, and then they said, 
I'm not really a people person. I don't like to like be around people. And it was kind of funny. Everybody <laughs> kind of laughed because none of us are. <laughs> a lot of resellers aren't people. People. It's one of the joys of doing this job is you can just literally work from your garage. Do it by yourself. Yeah. You can go thrifting by yourself. You can do your shipping by yourself. You can do your listing or by yourself. Or with just your people. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So so that was one of the things you know we talked about. I think it's probably talked about at a lot of events with resellers. But it, when we were in Omaha for Planes of Profit, the discussion happened there too that you know a lot of these people don't like other people. But when you get together and I you don't find say don't like don't like to be around other people. Don't like to try to make conversation. Mm -hmm. Don't like to try to remember who's who. We had name tags just because we're bad with names. Well, it's like Alicia said on hers. She can talk in front of the camera all day long because that's easy. And we can talk to people, mm -hmm. but you put us in a group setting where it's trying to, I'm trying to talk to everybody and I'm trying to remember I who's who and name. I struggle with that. So, but when you get in a room, there's something with cool like about when you get in a room people. with people that do the same stuff as you and the people that ship out their items, you know, three to five times a week and they do sit there and listing and they have trouble motivating themselves to list and, and they have, you know, eBay had a, they had a dumb buyer that irritated, you know, just random, they random day to day activities that language. speak the same language and yeah. everything else. It's really cool. It's easy to get laid back and just discuss these things with people that do the same stuff. So that was what makes it so much fun. And so anybody else that like, I know there was a couple like here in Lincoln that I know thought about coming and they didn't come like next time, please come because yes. you know what? We're all the same and we're all in the same boat. if we're doing this, even if you're not a reseller, like if you like the topics and the fines and everything, just come talk to us. Cause this is like yeah. what we do. This is all we do. So this is what we want to talk about besides my dog. <laughs> Speaking of all that, we're going to do what drawing we're going to do a drawing. Corey and Teresa, Grams and Pops, and us, we decided, since we kind of put on this little shinding and all these people were nice enough to show up, that we're each doing a drawing. And so they will be doing their drawing um, on their show that comes out next Wednesday, like a week after this one. And we're going to do our drawing now. And yes. we're each giving away a $25 eBay gift card. So we're going to spend it anywhere on eBay. Yeah. You don't have to spend it at our channel or, or our, our store, store or their store or whatever. It's just, you can spend it wherever you want, but we're each giving away $20.5 oh. eBay gift card. Mark, Mark. Okay. We put everybody's name off that list in this little turtle. Yep. So we're going to stir it up, shrink it up. It's a happy turtle. So you, <laughs> jiggle, to, jiggle, jiggle. so you have to buy something that makes you happy. Yes. Okay. Are you going to draw? Ah, uh, you go ahead. Okay. You're doing great. Okay. There's the winner right there. Let me put the turtle down. All right. Who gets our $25 eBay gift card? Alicia! Alicia. There you go. <laughs> I think awesome. we can figure out how to get it to her. Yes. Yeah. That's awesome. So Alicia, you have a gift card coming from us. We haven't gotten it yet, but maybe today when I go to post office, maybe we'll grab it today. Um, so we'll get that to you. And then if you didn't win, just stay tuned and watch Grams and Pops's watch their episodes because like I said, next week when their episode comes out, they're going to give away another one. So yes. uh, congratulations, Alicia. Yes. Anything else? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's get back and pick the rest of these orders so we can wrap this up and I can get this stuff shipped out. Yes, get going. All right, next up, I have a Titleist visor right here in very good condition. Hey. Pro V1 Foot Joy Titleist. And this got a garage sale of $2, and it sold for $14.99. It's going to Maryland. Nice. All right, Donna, box R10, another fun sale for you. R10, what's in here? Do you know yet? Do you know yet? Do you know yet? Do you know yet? I think so. Two glasses, two more breakables. These are so cool, you guys. These came from the clean out we did with our friends. The apartment, abandoned apartment. Look at them. Um, sun and moon glass. Are those Libby or something? What, do you remember? Libby, yep. Celest um, celestial. Yeah. And those two glasses sold for $29.99 and they're going to Colorado. Nice. Oh, I love this blue glass. Now, if Donna thinks that was a fun sale, wait till she sees what's in box R1 here. Why can't I remember everything? 
This should be a box that has seven things in it, and they're blown glass. <gasps> oh, you guys! More cool things. This was so neat. Let's bring neat. it over here. Are you ready? Those are blown glass rose Christmas ornaments. Is they that what they are? Clip, oh, they're clip on. They clip on the tree and they're blown glass. Yes, and they're vintage. Ooh. Pretty cool. And they were made in West Germany. Very cool. So a lot of seven of those. Uh, we've had those from clean out like the, a long time ago, and we finally a, got listed, mm -hmm. and they sold already, and they sold for eighty-five dollars, and they are going to New Jersey right there. Oh, they're so pretty. Yep. All right, in here we just got a few more things, guys. We have in here a calculator that's new in package. This one. Right there, Texas Instruments TI thirty XS sold for eleven ninety nine. That's going to Minnesota. Okay. And then when you go back in there, if you want to grab box 79. All right, well in there you find two orange things. Orange things? Two orange things. There's four. There's four, okay, you grab two of them. But they're different sizes. Oh, the short ones. All right, so in here we got two little Nerf clips. They're Nerf for Nerf guns, they're little clips. They sold for $7.64 and they're going to Washington. All right, here comes box 94. This is a garage sale item she got for a dollar. It's a cup and tea set. Uh, Noritake Blue Ivory. Yes, I think it's this one. All right, okay. Got this for a dollar at a garage sale. Look at the flowers inside. <coughs> Pretty nice little tea and cup set. Tea and cup set. <laughs> tea, tea and cup so and saucer. Cup and saucer. Tea, cup and saucer, I don't know. Uh, that sold for $12. And that is going to Kansas City, Missouri. Nice. All right, the very last thing, we got a little something in box 51. All right, in here, there's going to be a cup. Yes, we and it's were. it's a fox we were, and this is the Monster High box, wasn't it? Yeah. You're looking for a fox cup. Tweety Bird fox cup. All right, inside of here is a Pier 1 oh, fox he's so cup. Cute. Look at that. That's pretty cool, a little fox there. And Donna got him for 50 cents at a garage sale. He sold for $8 and he's going to Michigan. He's very cute. So it looks like that is a big fat negative on Alaska. Come on, Alaska! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's it. All these things need to get shipped out today. I want them gone so we can get list more it. things and sell more things. So um, that's all I got for today. You got anything else, Donna? Um, like and subscribe, share with your friends, and thank you, thank you, thank you if you're still watching. Yeah. Um, but thank you to all the recent subscribers. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Amazing. Thank so you thank even you. more to the people that have been subscribed and still watch oh, from yes. day one. Yeah. From our you rock. OGs. Yeah. So anyway, uh, I'm Steve. I'm Donna. We're Happy Our Treasures, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Hey, just a little bonus footage here. I'm doing my shipping. Got some bunch of packages going out here. I uh, just got a email, not an email, not an eBay sale, but a Bonanza sale. If you watched the last video, you know the one where I fell off the steps. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, if you watch that video, you'll see that we just picked this up uh, at the garage sales on the high bargains for you on 92, and it just sold on Bonanza of all places right away. It's actually still in the garage in a box. Say hi to Donna. Hello. There she is again. What are you showing them? Uh, the Bonanza sale that just came through. It's right here in this box. Oh, we paid okay. $20 at a garage sale. You did and that yourself. And there is sale. the shampoo and conditioner. And those sold for $96.74 on Bonanza. So Yay. that's fun. Thanks for watching everybody.